Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you how to make wall outlets. Um, okay, first you want to do is get something round that might go on the wall. Um, I have chosen this is the Foxbury crest and all I do is I flip it around and shrink it a few times. Now you can't place it on the wall, it's going to flip back. So what you need to do is delete the wall and then take it and flip it around and then place it right about where it wants to be and then grab another piece of wall and there you go. This uh, line, which would make the wall outlet, uh, you know, where you, you plug the cord in, is these little wooden planks. You get these from the debug. So uh, go through debug and see if you can find, they, they're not labeled as anything, you have to scroll quite a ways to get to them. And then you just can paint the wall. You can set these however you want them. I don't know what your wall outlets look like in whatever country you're in. Um, I'm in America, so this is basically our wall outlets. There's uh, one bigger, I don't know what the specific term is for it, and a smaller one. And then there's the two uh, where the prongs go. Let's see. What you do is you take your sim and have him or her uh, paint from reference. And you're going to want to get your uh, easel lined up correctly. And it may take a couple of tries uh, before you can get it where it's centered. And then this, of course, you're, it probably helps if your sim has some painting skills. Yeah. There you go, wall outlet. Of course, it's kind of big, so you might want to shrink it. And you could add a frame around it, um, but it doesn't really look too realistic if you do that. It looks better like this. And you could shrink it even further if you want to place it somewhere like a kitchen, like on a kitchen counter, uh, above a kitchen counter. Maybe it looks too big, you want to shrink it. Um, okay, so that's wall outlets. And we're going to come over here and we're going to take one of those corbels. I guess you call them corbel. Yeah, king of corbels. That's the one I've got. Um, and I just chose a black one and then I used a uh, fancy wallpaper from the Machino pack. And we're going to have her paint this. Paint for reference. And this is going to be your wall switches. I mean, you can just use whatever color wallpaper you want so that you can make decorative wall switches. And you can add, you know, two of them so that you can have them side by side. Because sometimes I see wall switches where there's like, you know, two or three in a row. And then you just shrink it down. And that's it. It's pretty simple. You can just choose uh, whatever wallpaper you like. I mean, maybe during Halloween, your Sims want to have um, uh, wall outlets with, uh, you know, ghosts or spider webs. Maybe you want a country home and you want to do a country background. Maybe you want to do something wacky or how about some trees or, you know, just you could be creative with it. Um, and it's so simple and easy to do. 
um, but in case you don't feel like doing it you just enjoy watching my videos uh, go into the gallery under polar girl 69 and you should see the wall outlets um, I have uploaded this to the gallery and I will make a bunch of these um, switches as well and I'll put them up there. Um, they're, they're not, there's no CC, there's no custom content, they're not modded, so they should be easy to find. Um, and if you don't have, I, I would assume you should be able to download them even if you don't have those packs in the game. Um, but just, you know, drop me a comment below, let me know if they worked in your game or not. And if you have any other ideas for me, or any other uh, videos you'd like to see me uh, post, feel free to let me know as well. Um, I'll be putting out new uh, videos every Sunday and Wednesday since we're COVID-19 quarantine and um, I'm not really working my, my main job as much as I used to. I'm home and I'm, I'm playing Sims so I'll be putting out some really great build videos for you guys to see. Um, so please, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys later. Happy simming! Bye-bye!